In this video, we're going to sound design a scream. Screaming is the very first act that we all do the moment we're born. Even as we get older, it continues to be a cathartic act. The issue is that most of us live in an apartment, so we can't scream without the risk of getting evicted. So, the best next thing is to sound design a scream. This is the video that got me excited to make a scream sound. So it's possible to create a compelling scream with synthesizers. First step is to analyze what's going on here. There are modules for oscillator, filter, and amplitude. A pressure sensor module is controlling the filter frequency, oscillator pitch, and amplitude. Instead of a pressure controller, we can use an envelope generator. So these are going to be our main ingredients. For this tutorial, we'll use white noise as the sound source. In the previous tutorial, where we created a whoosh sound, these were the same components that we used. The main question that we asked in that video was which center frequencies to use for the bandpass filter. We learned that there are center frequencies that sound like certain vowels. For example, 500 Hz is an O sound. So the question is, what vowel is used when screaming? Most people would mouth the ah vowel when screaming, right? In the video that we have been referencing, the scream sounds more realistic due to the filter frequency increasing over time. I scaled the envelope with 500 as the minimum and 1100 as the max for one of the resonant bandpass filters. So it's like an ah uh, oh, sounding scream. And I had another resonant bandpass filter for adding more depth to the scream. Next, we need an envelope for the amplitude. The shape will somewhat follow the filter envelope. Okay, let's have a listen. So it sounds like a wind, but we do hear something that resembles a human screaming. We need to make it sound more abrasive, so let's apply a lot of distortion. In the sound design reel, I use an external saturation VST with tons of gain and the overdrive tilde object. Now, it sounds like this. Instead of the external saturation VST, overdrive tilde with a high drive factor can also result in an aggressive screaming. Because this scream happens in a cathedral, I applied a convolution reverb with cathedral impulse response. Any giant sounding reverb should get the job done though. Finally, let's listen again with the fire background soundscape. I hope you have fun creating a scream sound from scratch. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.